Ladies, gentlemen, one and all, welcome to Fear Perseus Mandate once again. When we last left off, the replica have woken right back up. And that was about the extent of it. And yes, it looks like the, uh, looks like Alma's apparitions are not very happy with the replica. I'm not even touching that with a 10-foot barge pole. Uh, I probably shouldn't have jumped over that ledge, however, because now I have to waste a medkit. Oh, good. There is something in here. Ooh. All mission essential personnel are to report to the helipad for deployment. If you encounter Morrison, bring him immediately to the commander. He and the senator are rapidly becoming more trouble than they're worth. Did he just say senator? Figures with Morrison involved. Wonder how high up this goes. Nope. 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 Would much rather go this way. Oh. No enemies in here. Okay. Well, I was expecting an ambush, but meh, I guess they, I guess not. I guess this is going to be a spooky section. Also, what on earth is going on over there? And by over there, I mean by the, the school, just behind where I am. I'm hearing chanting. Are they trying to summon Cthulhu? Oh, come on. Let me through. <sighs> Fine. If you want to be that way... We've lost six men to the creatures in the shadows. Avoid the dark, if you can. Only six. What's this unknown origin? Did I just miss a spook? I might have just missed a spook. Yes, I missed a spook. Okay. Fine. The subject has crossed the perimeter. Ow. See, they brought this super advanced rifle, but they didn't bring a super advanced shotgun. It's just mean. He's beyond that generator, I think. Yeah. Please fire. Get down. You have a visual. That's right. Oh, nice. Well, kind of worked. Because why wouldn't I? Well, because there's an advanced rifle there, but I have the penetrator at the moment, so I'll leave the the vest for a while. Nothing there of interest. Up we go. See, I'm only on one twenty-five health. At this point, I was at least, at least 150, from what I remember. Also, it's giving me a rocket launcher, so that means we're about to fight something nasty. Replicate activity in the train yard. Proceed with caution. While serious, the situation we are facing is not unique. 
Standard protocols still apply. Uh, we are going to ignore that. I'm fairly certain that someone's going to come up those stairs. Don't move. Don't move. That was the wrong thing I had equipped. Can you see it? Well, luckily, it can still do stuff. Watch your six. Anything useful here? Doesn't look it. Situation. Yes. I'm in trouble. Get fire extinguished. I guess. Still, thanks for the penetrator ammo. That was very nice of you. Cooey! What the? That's what the? You've lost your head. And they have a load of laptops here, which they can just conveniently... Do you mind? How the hell are you shooting through the scenery? to make a perfect shot through there or something. How the hell did he do that? Yeah, they got a lot of equipment here. This is definitely a uh, base of operations. Hence the uh, the name of the chapter. Taking that lightning gun. I've got this. Sensors detect an intruder has entered the perimeter. Kill him. Uh. It's you, idiots. Well, let's see you dodge this. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's end this. Let's end this. Sure, just come right over here. Shut him down. Ow! God damn it. I hate these guys. These guys are annoying. Where is he? There's one around here. There he is. Ooh, this one's got a shotgun. That explains that. <laughs> uh, I got to. Uh, I got a little too cocky on that one. remember those. Right. Save. Sensors detect an intruder has entered the perimeter. Kill him. There's one. Okay. 
Oh, they actually use that to uh, trigger the mine. I don't know if they intentionally did that or not, but it seemed pretty smart. Oh, you're still alive. Okay, one down. Blow these up so that they don't blow up on me. Another one down. There you are. Okay, move right. Move. Another one. Oh god. That took me right down to six. Uh yeah, we're saving here. And then uh Mine, that's... Yeah. He just walked directly into it. Very smart. Yeah, you can't actually dodge the lightning gun when the enemy have it, as it turns out. Uh, Alright. Grab all of these. Because, god damn it, did I go through a lot of health kits there. Alright. And I've got 24 shots with that. Ooh. Miss the armor. Can't be missing the armor, can we? Alright. What next? This is like our boss fight of the uh, of the area. Now we're gonna have something weird happening. Oh, hello, Morrison. What a little predicament you've got yourself in, my boy. What a shame. trying to get their hands on her DNA. Whose DNA? Her name was Alma. She was the primary donor for both Origin and Perseus. The Nightcrawlers were supposed to hand it over to me. You better not be making this shit up. There's a shortcut. It's a supply tunnel. I know where it is. We can get there before they find her. All right, Sergeant, let him out. Now, no funny business, or I am going to blast you into a million pieces. We have to hurry if we're going to stop them. I've got a lightning cannon, so I don't... If Mr. Morrison tries to escape, shoot him. Oh, I will. Also... <laughs> nice way to open the door. Where are you going? Get moving. It's just inside here. 
Of course it is. Yeah, this isn't an ambush at all. It's just through here. Uh, the screen showing is offline. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, hello. You made it. I was beginning to wonder. Hello, Fettel. Nice teeth you have there. Interval 06 exploration. Labyrinth. Situation. Gavin Morrison has identified the mercenary force as Nightcrawlers. He has confirmed their next target is genetic material belonging to a subject named Olma. Morrison is leading the fear sergeant to a decommissioned ATC compound that houses this genetic material. Mission. Escort Morrison through the supply tunnels to the ATC compound. Isn't Paxton Fennel dead? Well, I'd ask him how he was, but he just vanished into thin fucking air. Sergeant, we're going to lose contact here pretty quickly. I'm only a few miles behind you. I'll see you on the island. So, interestingly, yeah, both the Sergeant and Morrison actually saw Fattle. And no funny business. In a way, this kind of reminds me of that bit from Jedi Outcast, where you had to escort the... Uh, Um, oh, was it like the base commander? Is it like the second or third mission, or the second or third area? Damn, they're closed. No shit, Sherlock. Goddamn controls have got to be around here somewhere. Uh, Let's make yourself useful, why don't you? So go right, do it yourself. Ah, hell, look at this. She had been dead for three years when she first came for me. She destroyed them with the raw edge of her pain. Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's supposed to be a horror bit, so but... <laughs> um... I think Mr. Morrison's... Well... Mr. Morrison is now Mr. Pancake. Sucks to be him. Yeah, I know, I know that's supposed to be a horror bit, but uh, I just love the physics in these games. How do you? I miss one of those shots. Uh, oh, ow! Oh, that rifle hurts. Right. I'll take one of those. Thank you. Uh, there is an asp here, but I have plenty of ammo for my other guns, so I am going. That's a. Nice, nice shader we have here. <laughs> uh, I, I'm putting that down to just the age of the game. That's. I don't think that's what happened on the original hardware. <laughs> You know, I'm disappointed. We've not had the laser gun that much during this, get this uh, game.
I didn't actually pick that up. There we go. That's better. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of used to old games generally playing a little bit more janky on modern hardware. Especially when it comes to old console games. Oh, they can get me started on those. Indeed. Oh, good. A bloody handprint. If we know what that means. Time for spooks. Never mind. It's time for, time for them first. I'll check it out. We have a situation. I definitely do now. The situation is called your funeral. Another asp. Any movement? Yes. Oh, laser beam. Definitely taking that. Once I actually kill this last guy. Yes. Oh, I miss you. Why does he sound like Big John when he dies? Ah, come on! Oh, I can't do it. I can't do the accent. Come on, kill me! I'm here. No, I can't do it. I'm going to stop doing that now. Uh... Gimme. Oh dear. Oh, we've got assassins! Yay! Everyone say hello to the assassins. Uh, also, come on, you could you could you could pull yourself up. Also, uh, checkpoint. Forty-two ammo left. Uh, you have to switch the shotgun, probably. Oh, no. I've already got a shotgun. Oh, well, we have to switch to something else, then. God, I cannot see shit in here. But I kind of don't want to give away my position, either. Also, let me... Well, this is all well and good, but... What do I do in here? There's no... Oh! Okay, I go down here. Contact. Ah! Okay. You little shit. Hey. Replica are going to be annoying again.
Okay then. Apparently in the... In whatever year this takes place in, they learn how to make floating grenades. It's, uh... It's fun, I guess. Nothing else spectacular over here, but looks of things, no. Yep. Oh, what's... Check it out. Roger. Well, we just blew something up. I'm not entirely sure how we did it, but we did. And get the assault rifle back. Unfortunately, I still can't see. Too many particle effects. <laughs> you know, I was kind of thinking, right? So, um, when it comes to like. Let's plays and stuff like that. I tend to try and... Uh, well, I tend to just do whatever I feel like on the day. If I don't have, like, something else I know I want to do. So, for example, I'll leave it, like, right to the last minute to actually figure out what game that I'm playing. But I was trying to think ahead. I know, this is probably a bit... Uh... Probably a bit difficult for me, but uh, details. So, I was kind of thinking of uh, playing the Shadow Warrior games. Uh, not the old original ones, uh, the old build engine ones. That would be uh, that would be a disaster. Those games are not particularly easy. Also, spooky section. Never mind, we just fell into a pit. Um, and now we get a spooky section, but I mean like the, uh, the re, reimaginings, for lack of a better word. Also, uh, good, the cult symbols again. Hello, Chen. Fine, I guess we're not going that way. <sighs> How am I meant to shoot it if it's in the water? My bullets apparently do not work in water. <sighs> Fine. Uh, I guess I shall try and... Oh. There we go. Be careful. Affirmative. Get down. Come on. So yeah, uh, hopefully, at some point I'll get around to the Shadow Warrior games, because they are kind of fun. Of course, how I feel like... Um, when I actually get around to them, I don't know, but uh, we'll see. The thing is, they're also very different styles of games as well uh, for when you go from like one to two to three so two is more like a uh, good an assassin uh, two is more like a sort of borderlands-esque rpg albeit 
on a much, much smaller scale. Um, and the first game is like a proper hack and slash sort of shooter thing. And then third is kind of like Doom Eternal. So, God rest his soul. so yeah. How do you know he's dead? Divided into three levels. One for basic research. The next level down was where production occurred. And the final level was a kind of vault. You'll need to get to the vault. Yeah, I've not told you he's dead, so how would I, uh... Also, this music sounds like something from Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Okay, there we go. All gone. For now. over the time. Uh, that's fine. I'll finish off this combat encounter then call it. Oh, you survived. That's right. His head also decided to spin. Yeah, this music is very vampire-esque. Or Vampire the Masquerade-esque. Okay. I think then uh, we shall call it a day there. Now, unfortunately, I cannot remember exactly when the end of this game is. So I don't know entirely if I'll end up doing, like, a, a full length episode for the finale. I guess we'll see. But yeah. That'll be it for today. So. Thank you very much for watching everybody. I hope you have enjoyed it. And until next time. I have been. Carl Taris. Goodbye. I say as my voice goes. <laughs>